Hi, I'm Ben from AMB. Today we have Yamaha's new YDX Moro 07 e-bike. The YDX Moro 07 from Yamaha rolls on 27.5 plus size wheels and uses a in-house motor that's been designed, built, everything by them. It's the latest addition, five newton meters of torque more than their old motor, so it comes to 85 newton meters of torque and they're using a 500 watt battery. Yamaha's somewhat unconventional frame uses a dual twin top tube design and when you see nothing on the bike, just the raw chassis, you can see where the motorbike heritage comes from. You also have a very straight seat tube allowing you to put a very long dropper in there if you so desire. The large comes with a 170mm dropper in it. Uh, this medium frame's got a 150mm. You have a nice short stem, uh, all in-house bar stem and seat post and the geometry itself is reasonably conservative. It's not super long, it's not super slack, and the seat tube's not super steep. But what it does do is fit most people. So you don't need to worry about it being this like super out there bike that's gonna be like, ah, oh, it's too hard for me to ride and I'm not that good a rider. This is just plain, simple, does the job, and it's really good at it. Controlling your power, on the Yamaha is really simple. You have a nice little thumb switch here that controls a really easy to read little dash. It's got green lights, yellow lights, blue lights, all the lights you can think of. You can actually dim them down so if you're riding it maybe in the evening so it's not as bright, it could serve a fraction of your battery power. Um, you do have a 500 watt battery so it's not the biggest range you're gonna get out of, uh, out of this battery compared to most bikes that have a 600 watt battery. Um, the motor is the latest generation from Yamaha. It is significantly smaller than our old one. You might see this little beer belly we've got going down here. That on the older model that never made it to Australia, um, which is a good thing, was quite out there. Um, I don't know if it's prone to getting hit at all, but it's certainly like in the way, very obvious and sort of out there. So it's, it's great how it's uh, come down now, reduced a bit of weight, brought the weight of the bike down. Um, charging, again, super easy up here. It's very easy to get to. Um, you don't need to remove the battery or any plugs that generally go down near your crank and then you break it off at the door and all that sort of stuff. So that's really well thought out. 27.5 plus tires are brought to you by Maxxis with a Minion on the front and a Recon on the rear. You get full RockShox suspension from the select range and it's all set up for e-bike use. Stopping the bike, 203mm rotors, nice big rotors and powerful brakes delivered by Magura. And then you have a full suite of Shimano XT gearing and a nice short 165mm Praxis crank to help you when you're spinning and keeping that power down, especially when you're climbing through technical sections. The more relaxed nature of the Yamaha sort of means it's really easy to get along with quite quickly. Um, you do notice that the plus size tyres do offer you quite a, quite a big amount of grip uh, until you get to the very edge of the tyre. They're very round, so once you get to the edge, you tend to, to meet that edge really quickly. Um, the plus size tyre, again, does take away some of the little chatter, uh, which is quite nice, um, but it also gives it a bit of a, like a dead feel on the trail. So, kind of similar to when you're using a tire insert from some brands that make things quite dead. Um, so that'd be my only sort of comments around the plus size wheels. I have seen these with uh, a normal 27.5 tire on them as well. Uh, and it doesn't look out of the ordinary, it looks super normal. Um, something to note is that with this design here, Yamaha have been unable to put a bottle cage on there or a bottle cage mount. Uh, so you do have to ride with a hydration pack if you uh, are someone who gets thirsty or just wants to stay hydrated. Um, out on the trails, it's really easy to whip around. Um, I guess that's to do with the 27.5 wheels, a little bit more nimble. Um, although the bigger plus size tyre does give it some quite good rolling uh, through there. The suspension was really easy to dial in, again mentioned earlier that it is all e-bike specific stuff. So you've even got like the logo for the e-bike rated on the forks, meaning that we didn't blow through the travel or anything like that, like unexpectedly. 
and uh, the brakes themselves have been really nice, like really even. Um, it's nice that Yamaha put big rotors on this bike. Um, it's, I believe, around 23 kilos uh, in a large um, that I've ridden before. And um, so you do need a little bit of uh, extra oomph to, to sort of stop it. Um, climbing, uh, generally use the uh, power mountain bike mode, uh, which is signified by yellow, yellow LEDs. Not always in the full power mode. It's like you can have like three quarter and full. Um, sometimes the full is a little bit too much uh, power whilst it feels a lot more natural than the green mode, which is just bam, like just jams the power straight into your legs. The, uh, the e-bike uh, mountain bike mode is a lot more natural feeling, but sometimes you find that the uh, in the full power mode, if you're climbing something awkward, the bike still does want to shoot out from underneath you. So the, uh, the three quarter mode is, uh, is really good for that sort of stuff. Um, as you'd expect, coming from someone like Yamaha, that uh, it's, it's pretty good in the, in the choppy stuff. So I thought about that, the engineers. Um, the engineers at Yamaha have been making uh, motorbikes for a very long time, so certainly know how to, to work around that sort of stuff. And it's really balanced and stable when it comes to jumping. It's, I guess that's probably because the weight was all very central in this bike. So it feels really balanced um, and doesn't tend to kick you or find that it's really hard to get off the ground like, um, like some e-bikes are. With Yamaha's unique design cues and powerful motor, it's an excellent addition to the e-mountain bike world. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the trails.